So let's analyze the R to R ladder circuit that we've used for our design. So we have three situations here. The, the three situations correspond to our bit 2, bit 1, bit 0 being 0, 0, 1, which is my first one, a 0, 1, 0, which is this scenario, and a 1, 0, 0, which is the third scenario. So the law of superposition says if we look at these three basis elements and prove that these three work, the other five, which are combinations of these three, will also work. Okay, so we see that in this circuit here, let's analyze this one first. We see that all these circuits have something common to them in terms of their behavior. When we finally reduce them, they will have this form. That is, we will have a signal that is a 3.3 volts with a Two R and an R. Mm. That is, the net resistance from the powering signal to ground is going to be three R. It's just a matter of combining them based on what you already know about series and parallel resistors. So, if you did that, then we can find out what the current is. The current, as we see here, that is leaving out of this node this node or this node is simply given by 3.3 divided by 3R which in our case is going to come out to be 0.1 milliamps yep. because R is 11K. I see you also ignored the speaker. The 32 ohms of speakers is a very small number compared to 11,000. So you just ignored it. Yes, that is correct. So, um, so now what we notice then is when we, when we look at each of these values and we find out what the current is, which is this is I0, I, which is in our case, the current. The first one is a I001, which is this one. In the second case, it's a I010. And in the third case, this is an I100. So we can calculate this by looking at, for example, how I001 gets calculated. We have I coming out of here, which we know is this. It gets split, and it gets split in 2R and this net resistance is also going to be 2R so it splits halfway so half goes here half goes here and then when it comes here the same thing happens which is this is going to be 2R so it goes half goes here and half goes here so we've halved it again and eventually it goes half here and half here so what we see is that I001 has been halved three times so it's going to be I divided by 8 Similarly here, we will have this divide half and half and again it will be exactly half and then it will divide half and half and half and so it's only divided two times so that's going to be I divided by 4. And in this case, it is divided half and half so it's only divided once so it's going to be I over 2. Oh. So the law of superposition then tells us that if I had a different combination, let's say I had a combination which was a 0, 1, 1, then this will give me a net current of I over 8, which is because of this bit, which is a 0, 0, 1 scenario, plus the 0, 1, 0 scenario, which is an I over 4. Hmm. And similarly, we can evaluate the other situations. So no matter what we have, it's a simple linear combination of R8. Hmm. 
of our individual bits and lastly 111 is going to be simply i over 8 plus i over 4 plus i over 2. So we have a linear relationship between the number n, which is between 0 and 7, mm -hmm. and the output current, which is going across our speaker. That is correct. And the higher the digital value, the higher the current. And that's how we know it is doing a digital to analog conversion. But we still have to make it oscillate, don't we? That is correct. How are we going to do that? So what we did here is build the hardware part of our solution. So now we have to look at the software part of our solution, which is going to be using Cystic. All right.